When the technician arrives for the inspection, the first thing that is performed is a visual inspection of all appliances and the suppression system. The cover is removed from the system and the expellent cartridge is disconnected to prevent accidental discharge during the inspection. A cap is put on the cartridge and the manufacture date and cartridge weight is verified. The hood filters are removed to expose the fusible links. The tanks are disconnected and removed for inspection. The technician removes the siphon tube and checks the threads and tube for corrosion. The level of agent in the tank is verified with a tape measure or ruler. A collar is added to verify an inspection was performed and the tank is reassembled. A tank filled with nitrogen is connected to the discharge piping. The technician then opens the valve and puff tests the piping. This is to verify that the nozzle caps release freely and that there are no blockages in the discharge piping. The nozzle caps are replaced and any dirt or grime is wiped away. A fusible link is cut to verify the system will activate during an emergency. Once the system is activated, the technician will reset the system at the control box. The pull stations are then tested to make sure they pull freely and the system is activated. Once activated, the technician will reset the system again. The slack cable from the pull station is adjusted and the pole handle is reinstalled. All of the fusible links are replaced and the cable is brought back up to the correct tension. The technician now reinstalls the agent tanks. The mechanical gas valve is also examined and confirmed that the shutoff valve is in the open position. A working pilot light is verified on the kitchen appliances. The gas control valve is tripped and the technician verifies that gas to the appliances has been shut off, resulting in the pilot light going out. The shutoff valve is checked to verify it is correctly shut off the gas to the appliances. The valve cover is removed, and the inside of the valve is inspected for any debris or obstructions. The gas valve is manually reset, and the cover is reinstalled. The technician relights the pilot lights and verifies the flame on all appliances. Depending on the system and type of gas valve, these steps may occur at different times. The discharge type and height to the appliances is checked and verified with the system manual guidelines. In this case, the technician is using a laser to verify all nozzles are in the correct alignment. If they are not, the technician will align them to the system specifications. The technician then reinstalls the expellent gas cartridge. Photographs are taken of the system, the nozzle alignments, and the layout of the appliances for customer records. The cover is reinstalled and the technician fills out the report on the iPad. If the kitchen passes inspection, a verification tag is added to show the kitchen is in compliance with all regulations.